Hey there good people, it's your Cripple Critic, and this week I want to talk about the indie game Memoranda. So Memoranda is a 2D point and click puzzle game for the PC. It's about a girl living in a strange town filled with anthropomorphic animals. The main character, Mizuki, is slowly losing her memory. Even her own name escapes her sometimes. Just a quick warning, I may butcher some of these names and I apologize for that. Memoranda was developed by Canadian studio Bitbiters. The lead writer and designer of the project was a man named Sahan Sahidi, and he was inspired by the surreal short stories of Japanese author Haruki Murakami. Let me just say right off the bat that I didn't enjoy this game at all. I thought the puzzles were way too hard and the story was a mess, but the main reason I didn't like it was because of the controls. Let me explain. You're probably thinking that this being a point and click game, the controls would be really simple, but you'd be wrong. There are no customizable controls, in fact there's not really any control options at all. You are given a drop down menu at the top of the screen that you can access with the mouse. It lets you save and load and exit the game. Strangely, the developer didn't bother to make a drop down menu for the inventory or the map, so the only way you can get to them is by using the keyboard keys. There is absolutely no way to play the game without using the inventory or the map. You press the space button to access the inventory, and the tab button to access the map. You won't be able to play the game with just a mouse. This is crazy to me, because most games in the genre have a mouse only option. It just makes sense, it's straightforward, what else do you need in a point and click game but a mouse? Indie developers with a shoestring budget for their games still put this feature in point and click games. I know, I've played them. There's no excuse for this. There isn't even a windowed mode available, so if you're thinking you can use the on-screen keyboard to bypass any of this, you're out of luck. Disabled gamers with fine motor skill impairments will have a really hard time playing this. In fact, the only way I was able to play farther than the first few scenes was I scoured the internet and found a third-party program that let me remap the mouse to the keyboard keys. It didn't really help make the game fun. Memoranda does have subtitles available, but they aren't very reliable. A lot of the background dialogue isn't subtitled. Also, audio cues initiate several of the puzzles, so deaf players probably won't be able to finish some of the puzzles without help. The important items needed to solve certain puzzles are oftentimes hard to find and hard to see. This is most likely done intentionally, but gamers with visual impairments may have trouble. Oh, and there isn't a brightness slider available in the options menu. <sighs> the story in Memoranda was not my cup of tea. I realized the lead designer wanted to go with a more unconventional storytelling approach, but to me it just came across as unfocused and silly. I also didn't really get what the point was of the story. Sure, the main character is trying to find a reason as to why she has memory problems, but even that isn't the main focus of the story until about two thirds of the way through. I will admit that the world of Memoranda is kind of stylish, and the characters are quirky and interesting. It is a shame though because of the not so great voice acting. They aren't all terrible, and I do realize this could be because of the low budget, but it did not make it hard to take anything they said seriously. My cat wasn't like that! He'd never go more than 100 yards from here! Also, how would he get out with that dog guarding the end of the alley? I walk these streets a lot. If I see him, I'll bring him back. That would be so kind of you. I hope you find your name soon, too. I have heard a lot about your ordeal. Yeah, thanks. I feel obligated to mention a certain character in the game. Despite Memoranda having almost inaccessible gameplay for disabled gamers, there actually is a disabled character in a wheelchair in the game. He's only ever referred to as Fisherman, Man spelled M-A-N-N. -N. You can find him on the beach. He's shy and introverted, and at first he won't talk to you for more than a minute without getting the right item. But once you do, he'll start to open up a little bit. He talks about his mother bringing him to the beach every day, and he wishes for something more in his life. He compares himself to the fishes, and hopes one day he can be as free as they are. Now, how you complete his puzzle is a little bizarre, and I wouldn't really say it was healthy the way you solved his problem, but hey, I appreciate what they did with the character. Aren't you bored of sitting here every day? Don't you want some change? I do! 
Sometimes I daydream about cutting my feet with a sharp knife, growing fins, and diving into the sea. That's a horrifying fantasy. I didn't mean a big change like that. Maybe you should ask your mother to take you to a warm, sunny city for a while. Even harder than cutting my own feet is to cut my mother out of this town that she loves so much. So the puzzles in Memoranda are extremely frustrating. If you're familiar with the old style of point and click games from the 90s, you'll understand what I mean when I talk about this level of difficulty. There's no rhyme or reason to these puzzles, there's no logic at all. You're just supposed to click on everything you can and hope for the best. I've played point and click games with difficult puzzles before, but they're usually few and far between, not every puzzle. What's worse is Memoranda never really point to you in the right direction. There are hints, but they're not all that helpful. Oftentimes puzzles are initiated through dialogue. Even after you've exhausted all your options with every character you've talked to, you're just supposed to go back and talk to everyone again and hope something changes. New areas unlock without any warning, so you're supposed to retrace your steps and see if anything new has appeared. The game never really updates you on this either. The puzzles really are nonsensical, and I know it's supposed to go with the sort of otherworldly vibe the story's going for, but if I have to look up how to do every puzzle, it's not going to be fun. If I can say some positive things about Memoranda, it's the art style is really nice, and the character designs are pretty unique, very Alice in Wonderland. The controls are just inaccessible, disabled gamers are going to have trouble playing this. It's imperative for developers to have a mouse-only mode for their point-and-click games, especially indie developers. You want as many people to play your games as possible. Being able to use the mouse to use the inventory or the map would fix a lot of my complaints. At the very least, a windowed mode. Well guys, I hope that was helpful. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you later.